Look at those clouds. Mm, I know yeah. there's a name for them. Yeah. Mark we'll, will know. we'll have to ask him in a minute, <laughs> yeah. won't we? Well, a local amputee is one of the first in the world to receive a unique prosthetic device. Yeah, it's so high tech, it's almost superhero like. KUSI's Kristen Casado has the story. My index finger moving it towards me, the finger that I don't have anymore, will close all the hands, all the fingers. And moving the pinky away from me will open all of them. So it's a very simple command that I do. Simple yet so technologically advanced, 23-year-old Moises Aramburo has a brand new hand with bionic fingers. It's the first of its kind that changes grips with a brief motion. But it was a brief decision that put him here. In 2012, the Point Loma Nazarene student was riding a board being towed behind a truck on a flooded street in Mexico. The rope that I was holding on to caught um, underneath the sewer. Uh, so the tension between the rope behind me and the moving vehicle uh, took off, took off my hands. He was flown to a hospital in San Diego where his fingers were reattached in a 19 hour surgery, but they didn't survive. It was hard for me to cope, you know, with the law, especially since it was, you know, a, a very silly activity that I was doing. You really don't think about all the benefits of, of being able to be ambidextrous, you know, hold a coffee driver, um, you know, holding on to a kid, holding on to your girlfriend's hand. A year after the accident, he was fitted for his first prosthesis at the Hanger Clinic in San Diego. But now he's been upgraded to this brand new hand by Touch Bionics. The sensors in the silicone handpiece are thinner. The fingers are sleeker. The way I communicate with the sensors, the sensors just touch my skin mm -hmm. and they pick up the electrical brain impulse signal. Taking somebody who has lost their dominant hand and their, their utility of that hand, and now they can go back to doing the really simple things like um, holding a pen. He can write, he can drive, he can continue with his hobby of taking beautiful pictures. Moises has several grips he programs into his phone, and there's a special grip for his camera. Moises' sister, Luz, says all five of his siblings look up to him. I don't think any of us expected it, him to be at this point at, so soon. Um, yeah, I think he's dealing great with it. I'm very, very proud. Moises graduated from Point Loma Nazarene in May. He's now doing real estate development full time. And he works as an ambassador for the prosthesis company. Just to see kids interact with a hand and, and know that it is possible uh, has been really beneficial to me and, and being able to help people like that. These high-tech hands cost between 80 and $100,000 each, but the company is working on creating a more affordable version. What's next for Moises? Learning golf and salsa dancing, two things he never tried before the accident. No doubt he will master both. Kristen Casado, KSI News.